வெல்கம் பேக் வில் ஸ்டார்ட் வித் அ நியூ டாபிக் மம்ஸ் அன் அக்யூட் இன்ஃபெக்ஷியஸ் டிசீஸ் காஸ் பை ஆர் ஆர்என்ஏ வைரஸ் கிளாசிஃபைஸ்ட் ஆஸ் ஜீனஸ் ரிபிலோ வைரஸ் ஆர் த ஃபேமிலி பேராமிக்ஸோ வெரிடே ஸோ த மம்ஸ் இஸ் அ வைரல் டிசீஸ் விச் காஸ் பை ஆர்என்ஏ வைரஸ் விச் இஸ் பிலாங்கிங் டு த ஜீனஸ் ரிபிலோ வைரஸ் ஆஃப் த ஃபேமிலி பேராமிக்ஸோ வெரிடே திஸ் ஆர்கனிசம் ஹேஸ் அ pre dilection for glandular and nervous tissue okay. this is mostly affecting to the glandular and the nervous tissue clinically the disease is recognized by non suppurative enlargement and tenderness of one or both the parotid gland here enlargement and the tenderness of the parotid gland occurs near the neck it is non suppurative there will be no any pus formation other organs may also be involved so this is what it looks like constitutional symptoms vary or may be in apparent the disease occurs throughout the world okay so sometimes symptoms may vary but it is present prevalent in the world the disease burden in most of the world the annual incidence of mumps in the absence of immunization is in the range of 100 to 1000 cases per 10000 populations with epidemic epidemic peak every 2 to 5 years okay so they will be affecting uh, it will be affecting the people from the range of 100 to 1000 cases per uh, 10000 population with epidemic peak every 2 to 5 years there will be outbreak of the disease in 2 to 5 years natural infection occurs a lifelong immunity once it is come in you will get lifelong immunity agent factor the causative agent is myxovirus parotiditis is a rna virus of the myxovirus family the virus can be grown readily in chick embryo or tissue culture there is no one, there is only one serotype there is only serotype only one and uh, it can be grown in the lab in the chick embryo or the tissue culture and it is affected by the myxovirus parotiditis source of infection both clinical and subclinical cases will transfer the infection the virus can be isolated from the saliva or from the swabs taken from the surface of the stinson duct it's uh, present in the uh, neck okay the virus has also been found in the blood urine human milk and the cerebrospinal fluid that is in one case it was found in csf also but it can be present in the blood urine human milk and communicability usually 4 to 6 days before and at the onset of parotiditis it will transfer the infection once the swelling has subsided the case may be regarded as no longer infectious so once the swelling has been resided that means uh, decreased there is no enlargement means the case is no longer infectious it will not spread secondary attack estimated to be about 86% okay uh, sometime there will be secondary attack that is 86% of attack will be there host factor in age and gender mumps is frequently seen among the children of the age group of 5 to 9 years in the younger age however no age is exempt if there is no previous immunity the disease tends to be more severe in adults than in the children okay it is more uh, present or uh, severe in the adult than in the children but it is uh, affecting the children also that is from the five, age of 5 to 9 years and immunity one attack clinical or subclinical infection confers a long life long lasting immunity and uh, most infants below the age of 6 months are immune because of the maternal antibodies since there is a maternal antibodies in the young infants body they will not get the mumps after 5 to 9 years only they will get an environmental factor mumps is largely an endemic disease cases are reported throughout the year the peak incidence is in the winter or the spring epidemics are associated with the overcrowding okay uh, due to overcrowding there will be outbreak of the disease how the uh, infection is transmitted it is by droplet infection and or after direct contact with the infected person and incubation period is 2 to 3 weeks usually 18 days and clinical features are it is a generalized virus infection and in 30 to 40% cases infection is clinically non apparent 
in clinically apparent case it is characterized by pain and swelling either in or in one or both the parotid glands but also may involve sublingual and submandibular glands okay. it is mainly affecting the parotid glands it may affect sublingual and the submandibular gland also okay. this is the parotid gland the case complaints of earache on the affected side prior to the onset of swelling okay before the swelling starts they will complain of earache this is accompanied by pain and stiffness on opening the mouth before the swelling of the gland is evident okay this is present uh, this pain and the stiffness is present before the swelling of the gland mumps may also affect the testis pancreas cns ovaries prostate gland also okay it may affect there also in severe cases there may be fever headache and other constitutional symptoms which may last from 3 to 5 days okay within one week it will subside what are the symptoms of mumps high fever and headache loss of appetite swollen and tender salivary glands these symptoms typically appear 15 16 to 18 days and days after infection and appear under ear sign the jaw the swelling subsides slowly over 1 to 2 weeks what are the complication they are not much serious uh, sometimes there will be orchitis overitis pancreatitis meningoencephalitis thyroiditis neuritis hepatitis and myocarditis in this case these are these are very serious complication with mumps orchitis this is a inflammatory condition cause a swelling of one or both testicles orchitis is painful here inflammation of the uh, testicles will occur and inflammation of pancreas is pancreatitis infection and inflammation of the brain is called encephalitis prevention highly effective live attenuated vaccine is now available okay the vaccine is available that is uh, gerilin uh, rate of 4385 leningrad 3 l zagar and uh, urib strains these are the vaccines which are available to prevent the mumps you should wash your hand cover your cough and sneeze stay home if you are sick don't share cups utensils etc be up to date on your mmr vaccine these are the how you can prevent the mumps a single dose of intramuscular produces detectable antibodies in 95% of vaccines okay when you get uh, take the 0.5 ml intramuscular vaccine you will get the antibodies in 95% mmr vaccine is administered as a trivalent vaccine for children on completing the nine month okay uh in the nine month he will get the mmr vaccine home remedies for mumps dry fresh ginger root in the sun and grind it to into the powder alternatively you can get dry ginger powder from the market so that you can take and mix one tablespoon of this powder with a little water little water to make a thick paste apply the paste to the cheeks and under the jaw line this uh, in the old and recent all they were used in these things allow it to dry on its own and then clean the area with a wet wash cloth follow this remedy 3 to 4 times daily for a week to reduce pain and swelling also include ginger in your diet ginger is very effective against the mumps so how you can control the control of mumps is difficult because the disease is infectious before a diagnosis can be made and however cases should be isolated till the manifestation subside so how you can uh, control this outbreak control including include a isolation of the patient with symptoms seclusion of patient potentially incubating mumps virus the immunization of susceptible patients and healthcare workers okay you should isolate them and you should give a vaccination to the patient and if they get the symptoms you can isolate these people symptoms may be relieved by the application of intermittent ice or heat to the affected neck or testicular area and by acetaminophen or paracetamol for pain relief you can give a uh, cold or hot compression and paracetamol or acetaminophen tablet for the pain relief measures should be taken to disinfect the articles used by the patient contact should be kept under the surveillance okay whoever come in contact they should be come under the surveillance we should uh, check them every day so that's what about the uh, mumps we'll see in the next chapter thank you